My name is Ben Wilson. Uh, our operation is called Wilson Centennial Farm, multi-generational family farm that I uh, own and operate with my dad and brother. I've got a 15-inch planter that I use for some corn, mostly soybeans. It's a 1790 frame, very heavy frame, and so we actually have to plant into the drive rows. And so on a standard dual configuration, creates a bit of a compacted environment. I was looking to get away from that direct uh, high pressure you know, seeding activity. I'd always run tram rows. So if I took that impact across my farm and the acres of planting or in the drive row versus not, and then the yield loss behind the tractor, and I can quantify that over the, over the acres. We eliminated the tram rows and um, we, we just have done angled spraying now. So we drive across the rows to, to, to minimize our, our impact. You know, I was picking up production you know, where I wasn't planting before, we noticed a huge difference in the soybean health of the root system behind the, behind the flotation tires versus the pinch rows. And it really kind of changed the game for me as far as planting into that. Now I plant all the 15 inch rows behind the LSWs. What we were seeing is amazing during the wet years, its lack of footprint was so good that the standard row crop tires would actually create a channel for the, for the wagon and then the wagon would sink into it. So this thing would skate over a wet area and the wagon would float right over the top because it wasn't pinching that area of faults and then, the, and then the wagon was sinking into it. But it's little impact over a large area. And the guys love it driving down the road because they feel like they can, they can really hook up and they're, they're stable. Um, you, don't have that, you don't have that sidewall wash, which is a big deal, especially when you're pulling stuff. And uh, these, you, you definitely don't have that with these. So it kind of opens up your, your eyes to things you can do with different tire technology.